Boo Bears, what's going on? You're tuning in to another Mario Ramon review. And today, we're going to review The Bachelor. OMG, Season 25, Episode 1 of The Bachelor. We are going to get into it. But before we get into it, let's take care of the business. If you like the video, definitely like the video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell next to the subscribe button. Okay, that's a two-part. Kind of like a compound word, if you will. Okay? Subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button and also comment, okay? Comment on the video. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me, okay? Now, first of all, tell me, have you ever watched The Bachelor before? I know this is my first time watching The Bachelor. The Bachelor, it's um, it's on ABC and um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of The Love Connection. That's more my era. <laughs> I'm telling my age right now, but it's okay, boo bears. You know, it, it's just kind of like you present yourself for this one person to pick you, you know? And um, the, the person that is The Bachelor today is Matt James. And he's just a good guy. You can kind of feel it through the television. Like some people are just good people. And um, he is biracial. His mom is white, his dad is black, and he was talking about the different challenges that, you know, his family went through. And he's concerned because he's the first black, you know, bachelor. So he doesn't want to have to feel obligated to pick one race or the other because he's he's caught in the middle, you know, no matter who you pick, somebody's going to be upset. So I just say, let your heart pick, okay? And, you know, he had some concerns when the ladies were pulling up in the limo. Poor thing. He was nervous. I know he was sweating up under his little man arms, you know. Um, but he asked, you know, he asked the host. He was like, hey, can I talk to you real quick? Can I talk to you real quick? I think the producers wrote that in because the room that they went into was already set up with two chairs and candles burning, okay? Two plus two is four, even when you're counting pesos, okay? So Matt is 24, he plays football, he's a Christian. And um, he's just, like I said, he's just a fine guy. Now at first, uh, he, he's a fine once you get to know him, he's super fine. Like he's already gorgeous to look at. He almost has a touch of Steve Urkel in there. And that's no tea, no shade. And when I say Steve Urkel, I mean the actor, Jalil. He doesn't have Steve Urkel. He doesn't look anything like Steve Urkel. But he does look a little or resemble Jalil, the, the, the actor that plays Steve Urkel, without the, out, the outfit on and the Steve Urkel, you know, suspenders and glasses and all of this business, right? So he was kind of concerned, you know, um, he doesn't want to send America up in a, like, uh, just a mutiny. Uh, and I understand what he's saying, but, you know, I'm pretty sure the producers are like, pick from your heart. Pick from your heart. And it's okay. And if you need some advice, call Ice T. Ice T will tell you how to get the folks off, off your back. Just, you know, inbox them on Instagram. Hey, Ice-T, how do I handle this situation? You know, Ice-T can wrap some shit up. And Coco be like, uh-uh. Don't you let them um make you do something you don't want to do. Talking about the America. If you want a black girl, pick a black girl. If you want a white girl, pick a white girl. If you want whoever you want. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I don't know. I'm not even thinking about race at this point. I'm just saying all of those ladies were drop dead gorgeous. OMG. Some guys have all the luck. Some guys have all the pain. You know what? He is a lucky brother right now. And he got all these beautiful women and they're in these beautiful gowns. You know, they smell good. Skin is all lotioned up and stuff, you know. And they have booties from hell. Every time one of them turned around, he just turned around. He was just vandalizing them in his his imagination. Mm -hmm. He was talking loud on a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? Because he was nervous. This is his first time. This is his first time on television, period. And you're on NBC. 
I'm just saying. ABC, ABC. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. ABC, ABC. And so, um, he he just turned around and like at one point he was like, mm, she fine. You know what I'm saying? And I felt him. It was a couple of them that was just above the rest. I like the one girl who drove in the pickup truck from North Carolina. She drove around. Everybody else was getting out the limo. Here she comes with her pickup truck, stick shift. And then she's joking with him. She's talking to him the way he needs to be talked to. She told him, he, he, he asked if the truck was an automatic or a stick shift. She said, it's a stick shift. Put some respect on my name. Oh my God, she had turned into Birdman. I loved it. How do you feel? Do you feel because he's black that he has to pick a, a black, you know, um, bachelorette? How do you feel about that? Because, like he said, he's half and half. And then most people like to pick people who remind them of, like, guys. They, they typically pick someone with their mom's characteristics. And, and and ladies do the same. They pick guys with their dad's characteristics. So his mom is white. So, you know, he it's very... And then if he grew up in a neighborhood, that may be what he's attracted to. So let's not knock him on this one, okay? Let's not do that. I will say the lady from Ethiopia, my God, she came out, right? She came out. The girl with the ballet shoes on, spinning around to meet him, I, it's a no for me. That was a no. Like, at first, when she did her story, and she's like, I'm a ballerina, and I'm a ballet teacher. I'm like, oh, he worked with the youth as well. So this may be pretty good, you know, a, a really good match. She came spinning around like she was a tornado. I said, oh, no. No, we're not going to do that. Mm -mm. Um, I like Brie. I like Brie, I like Chelsea, I like a lot of, of the girls. Um, the one girl, the second girl that came out with the glass slippers, I almost passed out. I was like, is she auditioning for Cinderella? I haven't seen a glass slipper since we read the book Cinderella when it first came out. I just could not. Now, she was cute, but them slippers had a lot to behold. It's kind of like if you come to meet somebody with overalls on. I just haven't seen glass slippers or overalls in a mighty long time. It's been a while. Uh, we like Kayla. We like Marty. Marty was very pretty as well. I think she was gorgeous as well. And I think that he really liked Marty, honey. Marty, she, she going to um, whoop it on him with these outfits. I pray you bought an outfit, Marty, that's above the rest. Best dress to me went to Chelsea, period. Period. She's a model and she wore this little black number and it had material um, all the way to Wichita, Kansas. She was in California or New York, I don't know where they are, but wherever they are, the material was in a whole nother state. The train on that dress was in a whole nother state. And I'm here for it. So I'm, I'm actually um, thinking about watching this now. You know, I um I had never watched it before, but now I'm I'm kind of vested because I see the competition of the ladies and you know, I kind of want to see how he's going to weed through the beauty of it all. And 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 you know, cuz these are professional women. These are professional women. So, it's not like somebody on the millionaire matchmaker, they're just a whole lot of ladies in short dresses with a two drink minimum that's really going to drink four drinks. And just acting like a fool. You know, these ladies, you know, they, they, they have stories about their family. This one lady, she told a story about her um, ill father. And, you know, and, and that was relevant because her parents are still together. Through sickness and health, her parents are still together. So she has a strong foundation and someone to pull from, you know, um, so far as sticking together. So these are things I personally look for. You know, so if I were him, I would look at that very closely, seeing that, you know, that her dad is um, very ill and the mom is still sticking there and she still loves them. And the dad still has a great sense of humor, even being ill. He was uh, doing his finger and everything. I was like, OK, I'm here for it. This poor guy. He has to meet 30 women. 
Like, you know, I don't know what I would do if somebody sent me 30 fine ass men. I don't know what I would do. But I tell you what I would do. This is before I, I'm dating. Because I tell you this, if you line my baby up with those 30 men, I would pick baby every time. I don't give a shit who you send. It could even be forced culture. I'd be like, go on over there with Nicole. You are not cute to me, go on. But he is cute. But I have to say that because baby's in the other room and he could possibly hear this. So Boris Kojo is not cute to me. Right, bitch. Honey, every now and then you got to whisper some shit. I just don't want to disrespect my baby, but he know Boris Kojo is fine. Isn't that right, baby? Oh, he all the way in the backpack. Well, good. Let's talk. You know, it's okay. You know, and, and these other ladies, that I'm going to tell you that another thing I'm going to look out for. I'm going to look out for the lady that's extremely jealous. It's a blessing and a curse. But you want her to be so vested in you that, you know, she is like... You know, I don't want you to be over jealous, but I do want you, you know, I want to know, you know, that you a check a heifer. I want to know you a check a heifer if she all up in my face. Um, hi, can we help you? Can we help you? You got to listen to the key words, right? You got to get in a heifer's face every now and then. It's some disrespectful ladies out here, especially when your man look like that. So I don't want you to be too jealous, but I do want you to, you know. Let me know, you, you you know. But, see, I wouldn't want no man that fine. Honestly, ooh, not saying that my baby is not. What I'm saying is, I don't, I wouldn't want no, I better delete this goddamn video. He see this shit, he gonna burn my ass up while I'm asleep, like Veronica did um, David in the have and the have nots. But what I'm saying is, because I worry about my baby, it's just that I don't worry about him. Because I know his heart, I know his spirit, I know him, and I know... I know we're together, you know what I'm saying? So, but what I was saying is women, because just because of his height alone, this new bachelor, his height alone is making people moist across America. You know what I'm saying? So I just know that women go, hey, how are you? Do you know the time you want a little bit? Um, mm-hmm. And he's like, what, what did you say? I feel a little hair or something. I feel a little hair. And so... You know, when they be at the airport, ooh, nice luggage. You want a little bit? And then, you know, he go to the dry cleaner. Okay, I can get that stain out. You want a little bit? You know, the UPS person. I'm, Hi, I have a delivery for you. You know it's my neighbor's bitch. You didn't be here every day this week. You know I didn't order nothing. You know that's what he be thinking. Yeah, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll take it next door. But before I do, do you want a little bit? Just a little bit. Move a little, 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 just a little bit. All right. Well, guys, listen. It's not too much more to talk about. I think I'm gonna watch this next um, next week, and if it's worthy, I'm gonna give another review on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I I would like to know, you know, um, his process of picking a wife, and and picking a wife. It's not just because something. It's kind of like saying that a pair of shoes is beautiful, but they don't fit. Perfect example. Ooh, those nine and a halves are amazing. I wear 12 and a half. Like, what am I going to do with a nine and a half? Give them to a nephew? So that's my thing. Don't just pick something because it's pretty. Don't pick a car. Don't pick a, don't pick a two-seater car because it's pretty. You have five kids. Why are you picking something because it's pretty? You have to go pick out an outfit today. It's July 22nd, hot as fuck, and you go pick out a sweater and buy the sweater because it's pretty. I'm just saying, so all I'm saying is this, don't pick out a wife just because she's pretty. There needs to be some substance there. You want to know about the family, you know what I'm saying? And then this is a, another key thing. 
Start telling her things and see if she remembers. Tell her some shit about you. Like some shit that happened when you were 11 years old. At one of those dinners. You know she's going to remember because she's going to be damn captivated. He can hypnotize somebody with his little fine ass. Got the stomach and all that, honey. The le and he bow-legged. Oh, my God. I would just tie him up, honey. But why does your mom keep calling? It, and he'd be tied up. It's my mom. Can I talk to her now? She's had you for 27 years. Shit. Tell her bye. I'll put you on the speakerphone, but you got to tell your mama bye. Mom, help. Shit. Get me out of this motherfucking room. He ain't let me out in months. Now, he feeds me and I'm clean. He be bathing me and shit. But I ain't left. I ain't left. He got blackout curtains and shit and candles. I thought he was doing a seance the other day. I'm just saying. That's my baby. I be vandalizing my baby. He knows it. That's what he says. He's so sweet. All right, guys. Well, listen, thank you so much for hanging out with me on the Mario Ramon review. Before I end, I just want to say y'all are crazy. You are so crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for hanging out with me on the Mario Ramon review. Um, comment on the video and tell me if you like The New Bachelor. Um, or even if you've seen the show before. And do you feel that... He's obligated obligated to pick a black lady or a white lady. Is he obligated? All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time on the Mario Ramon Review. Peace.